All right, gonna do one on this amp I picked up at the local shop, Swap. Boy, oh boy, getting tongue-tied already. Um, anyway, there was a local Swap here in the uh, Detroit area in Monroe um, a few weeks ago now, and um, I picked up a Heath Kit amp. I already did a video on it, but and I picked up a uh, Mako 750 that's not a Mako 750 anymore on 40 and 80 meters I did a video on but the third amp I picked up from the same uh, seller was this um, I needed it like a hole in the head but I got a package deal and uh, I wasn't going to turn it down so anyway this here is just the RF deck not the power supply of a single 3500Z um, 10 through 80 meter uh, amplifier home brewed um, so it's just a RF deck and I had this um, Tintec Titan power supply in the closet for years and had never uh, used it or even hooked it up so I ended up uh, digging this out the closet to power it and I even added that uh, switch right there because this is normally turned on and off by the uh, deck but I didn't feel like, you know, wiring whatever deck I had, to, you know, to this. I just put in a separate uh, or a uh, power supply switch on this. So I can turn this on and off independently of the um, RF deck here. And this um, power supply, which is not for sale, not available, I kind of like this guy, is um, 2.6 kilovolts, 1.5 amps, continuous commercial service. Um, so it's, it's got a very heavy duty uh, transformer in it, uh, computer grade caps, heavy duty power supply. Somebody added that fan in it. I don't really like that, but hey, you get what you get, right? Um, and 2.6 kilovolts is not bad, but it's a little bit low to make a 3500Z really, really sing and really talk. You know, most people run like 3200, maybe up to 35, 3600. Uh, volts on them where this is at uh, 2.6 kilovolts so anyway um, this is the deck it's live so I'm actually a good foot and a half away with the camera and that's gonna show the camera cuz um, it's running and that 2.6 kilovolts is on top of that tube right now so tram doctor is gonna be really careful don't do this at home so this is the inside of the deck as you can see it's very very heavy duty uh, components in this thing uh, big giant tune cap dual load caps on it uh, band switches or band coils and a heavy duty band switch there I'm not going to get too close uh, to that again with this thing being live and um, over here is the um, tuned input a variable tune input um, right there so you can um, tune the input and um, it already came where the input SWR was like 1.3 on this so that was very good so um, I had a generic it didn't come with a tube either so I had a generic uh, 500Z that's an RL parts laying around so I stuck that in there and it runs on two fans there's the top fan to uh, cool the glass and you can't see it but underneath that tube there's a small fan just blowing up uh, to cool the two pins pins on it I saw somebody on Facebook did that and here's an amp uh, that has that done anyway with the fan blowing up from underneath uh, on the two pins on it so very heavy duty built and you know that's why I took it for a song in the dance even though I already have a couple of other 3500Z uh, single amps already and probably a couple of uh, duels laying around too but anyway hopefully everything's still tuned up uh, this watt meter here is on the 200 watt scale and that's showing the input watts going into it coming from that uh, Mako 75 and that's what I'm driving it with and over here is the output side on the uh, right meter the one in the middle is not connected to anything so that's the output on the 2000 watt scale uh, both on average right now and also this amp 
uh, doesn't use a foot switch it's got a built-in automatic key in circuit so no foot switch and you can see what's on the front uh, band switch input uh, tune select tune and load AM SSB delay because it's got the auto key and then the power on so I'm gonna key it down that's the input watts 10 watts audio Shh. Shishing to about 80 on the average, and here's the output on the 2KW scale. Dicking about 60 with 10 in, and shh, shh, shishing to about 475, maybe talking to about 350, and that's bird watts. And last, I'm gonna make this quick because my battery's dying, and I hope I can get this in. We're gonna put it on peak watts. Audio, 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 shh. Audio, audio, audio. It's doing about eight and a quarter right now. If I fine tuned it a little bit and uh, let that thing heat up a little bit with the hammer down, um, it'll trickle at a thousand. So that's going to be it. My camera's flashing at me, my battery's going, and I'm going too. That's it for this one. Bye.